Good morning. It's Double T. Got a special guest joining me in the studio, Tyler Sakura, player with the Rockford Ice Hogs. How you doing this morning? Morning. I'm doing well, thanks. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from a place just outside of Toronto, about 45 minutes outside of Toronto. Okay. And so I, I've was pretty much born with a stick in my hands. Yeah. <laughs> Started skating at about two and, um, you know, haven't ever stopped since. Is it weird when you find somebody in Canada that doesn't skate? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's, you're either a skier or, uh, or a hockey player. That's, um, you know, pretty much how the how it goes. But even if you don't, um, you know, play competitive hockey, everybody learns how to skate when they're kids. Now, were you playing on ponds or rinks or both? Both. Both? Yeah. What do you would you like better as a kid playing? I think it's pretty fun to be on the pond when you're a kid. Yeah, you know, right. you'd be out there forever. There's no one kicking you <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, we had uh, a rink in the backyard when we were kids, so my brother and I we could be out there till uh, till we got called in, pretty much. Talk about those rinks in the backyard. I mean, your family had to put lots of work in those. Yeah, that was uh, that was a project every year. Uh, I remember, you know, sometimes when. It was real cold, or they, uh, we had got hit with a lot of snow. We'd have to get out there with the shovels. To <laughs> There's no sure. Zamboni either. No, exactly, to make sure we kept the ice for, um, you know, through the winter. So, uh, you know, those fond memories for sure. Now you talk about your brother, and your brother, Dylan, plays hockey too, and he's in the system. Yeah, yeah. So did you guys play together all growing up, or were you in separate teams? We were on separate teams, so I'm three years older than he is. Okay. Um, so the only time we ever really played together was in uh, high school hockey, but it was kind of our it wasn't our um, you know primary team. That was kind of the uh, the accessory team, just get more ice time. And, okay. Um, and so this is the first time that we've played together at a competitive level, so it's pretty cool. That's got to be fun. And not only are you playing on the same team, but while he was here, you guys were playing on the same line. Yeah, yeah, that was really special. Is there any rivalry between you guys, or are you guys pretty cool with it? None uh, whatsoever. Really? Yeah. No, it's it's maybe a little bit different than that. Like it, I guess we, we've had our... You know, an argument or two. Right. Well, you're going to, you know, you're your brother, but, but, you know, playing wise, you've always kind of gotten along. Yeah. No, we've always gotten along. Um, you know, we're, we're pretty close and we're different kind of players. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think we see the game similarly, but, um, you know, we're going to make it to the next level in different ways. So, uh, you know, happy to, to help in any way and always happy when he has success. I'm talking to Tyler Sakura. Now, he's up in Chicago right now. Does that mean you're going to get a better Christmas present then? Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the asking price just went up for sure. <laughs> That's too funny. Starting out playing when you were two years old, at what point did it start to get serious for you, hockey? Um, I guess around junior. I mean, I always took it really seriously because I was playing on travel teams and, and loved it. But, um, you know, it wasn't really until junior where you start to think that okay like I could have a college career out of this game and then you know hopefully move on to the pros that was always my goal was to, was to be an NHL hockey player ever since I can remember so um, I always took it seriously but I think that's the point where you kind of realize that this might be something that um, you know could work out were you a huge Maple Leafs fan then yes yeah, absolutely. You wanted to play for the Maple Leafs? Yes, but any didn't any, matter. Any team didn't matter. Um, my dad actually was a Blackhawks fan growing up um, from his dad. Okay. Um, so it was just kind of one of those things where anywhere you would play in the NHL would be right. incredible. If it did happen to be for the Leafs, then you know that that'd be awesome. But this is uh, you know dream come true. I'm talking to Tyler Secura from the Rockford Ice Hogs. When it was time to go to school, to go to college, what made you pick Dartmouth? Uh, well, I wanted to go to an Ivy League school. I think, um, you know, playing hockey or any sports uh, open up some doors to go to a place that I might not otherwise be able to. So I figured I would take advantage of that. And once I stepped foot on campus and met some of the people, I kind of realized, you know, this is a place I want to be in. Right. It was a pretty easy decision from there. Ivy League school, I mean, you must have done pretty well in school growing up then. Yeah, I always took school seriously. And, and like I said, um, you know, hockey was able to open some doors that maybe wouldn't have been there otherwise. So I, I really wanted to take advantage of that. What did you study while you were there? I was a sociology major. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Did you enjoy so, that? I loved it. So maybe someday later in your life, after hockey's done and you're retired, maybe do something with that? Yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, I was always interested in in just the study of it. I was a Malcolm Gladwell fan. He's a he's an author. He writes um, you know some very interesting books. And uh, I had a professor that kind of got me into uh, you know more and more classes. And um, you know, I, I really really enjoyed you know writing papers, overtaking tests, and um, you know, I thought it was really interesting. And uh, you know, happy to to have graduated some of that stuff that you learned in those classes can you use it in hockey and the mental part of it yeah i think college a lot of it um you know it, it's less about what you're taking and more about the experience uh, overall in, in terms of you know time management finding a way to get things done when you got hockey and your social life to balance as well and um, you know making those relationships with people outside of your, of your sport as well and in your classes um, so I, I think I did a good job of uh, finding a balance, and I think it helps you a lot when you have your own time now. Um, you know, you appreciate it, and, and I think you do some more productive things with your time than if, um, you know, you didn't have to go through that. If someone needs something done, they'll come to you because you're not the napper. You're actually getting <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I don't play the video games. Uh, you're not the video as game my, guy. As much as, uh, yeah, the other guys, so. Your roommates must be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one, actually. The two favorite non-hockey activities are video games and napping. For sure. What do you enjoy doing when you got some extra time? Uh, I like to play music. I've got uh, you know a couple of instruments. I've got a little set up in the basement. <laughs> I've got a piano and a couple of guitars and an amp and... Um, you know that that's the thing that I like to do and you know do something with my hands and uh, kind of forget about the game and, and pass some of the hours of the day um, so that's that's what I try to do um, you know I like to read a little bit watch TV shows right um, you know catch up on on FaceTime with people from back <laughs> home and, right, and right. whatnot so I'm talking to Tyler Sakura from the Rockford Ice Hogs. so let's talk about the music thing a little bit when did you start playing around some music it was uh it was Christmas, about seventh grade. My brother got a guitar, and I got a drum set. And naturally, he ended up playing the drums, and I ended up playing the guitar. <laughs> it's like Van Halen. Yeah, that's the whole story of Van Halen. Yeah, so yeah, we didn't pan out to be uh, quite that that caliber, but um, yeah, just kind of picked it up and, and taught myself, and I've been playing ever since. Did you ever play in any bands or play out live or anything? Uh, yeah, I had a band when I was in high school. Uh, you know, we played some intense, you know, screamo music. <laughs> it's Canada. Did you play any Rush? Uh, no, no. We, we couldn't find a drummer to keep up with uh, Neil Peart stuff, unfortunately. But I did, I did have Neil Peart's uh, DVD, drum DVD, so I used to watch that. Oh, that's awesome. What are you playing now when you get a little extra time? Uh, I try to play a little bit of everything. Okay. Um, you know, I, try, I like to try to cover some of the new stuff. Uh, uh-huh. Uh, some of the popular songs, and then, you know, if you're around the campfire, a lot of my friends like the country stuff or the oldies, mm -hmm. kind of whatever. That's fun. That's yeah. something that keeps you busy. Joining me, special guest from the Rockford Ice Hogs, Tyler Sakura. How is your time in Rockford so far? It's been great. Um, you know, I've traveled uh, to the various parts of uh, the country in the first couple of years of uh, my pro hockey career so it's nice to settle down a little bit and spend some significant time in one place and um, you know got a nice house with a couple of the guy, other guys on the team so uh, we have a really nice setup going right now. While you're in Rockford here do you get a chance to go around and do some of the things? Yeah yeah for sure we got uh, like you were talking about earlier some downtime so um, it could be good to get out of the house every once in a while and see the sights or you know, you know walk around by the river or whatever the case may be. Anything particular that you've enjoyed in Rockford so far? Uh, we, we like to go, um, you know, down by the river, like I said, and see the see the Christmas lights or, or anything like that. Um, you know, it's good to get out of the house or go to the Rock Cut State Park when it's nice out. Um, I, I, I try to get off the cell phone every once in a while <laughs> and, and enjoy some of the nature and stuff Outside? that's going on. Yeah, Are you a so. golfer? I know a lot of guys like to golf. Yeah, I like to golf for sure. Did you get to do any golfing in the beginning of the season? Yeah, I played a couple times, played Aldean with some of the guys. We had our golf tournament there as well. So, um, you know, really nice course, actually. It's a lot of fun. How did you end up in Rockford then? 
So I was playing in the, the ECHL for a couple different teams. I was up and down into the American League, and um, Rockford offered me an opportunity to sign a contract after going to camp from the previous year, and um, I jumped on that opportunity and, and went to the Blackhawks camp last year and, um, you know, had the battle to make make the Ice Hogs last year and, and kind of work my way up the lineup as the season progressed. And um, I was lucky enough to sign my first NHL contract during that year and, um, you know, kind of found a home in Rockford as a result. I'm talking to Tyler Shakira from the Rockford Ice Hogs. Talk about the opportunities you can get on this level, fighting for a spot, and then all of a sudden you've got an opportunity. Yeah, it's it's kind of a crazy game. Um, and, you know, there's there's opportunity um, once you get to this level. When you succeed, then you know teams at the next level are, are looking for somebody who can step in and contribute. And um, I'm a little bit of an older guy in terms of being a prospect or, or signing my first NHL contract, but um, I think I'm I'm trending in the right direction, just trying to get better every day. And, um, you know, with with the state of the Blackhawks right now, I think they're looking for some guys to step up and, and provide a spark maybe. And, and you know, you, you hope to be one of those guys, as everybody on, on the Ice Hogs right now does. What's the part of hockey that you love the most? I just love to compete. Um, I love the fact that it's kind of one of those 24-7 jobs where, um, you know, we, we do have a lot of downtime, as you said, but, um, you know, you, you can put a lot into what you're doing and, and really focus on, on what you want to accomplish. And, um, you know, for me, that's competing and having success as a team and, and trying to make it as far as we can and, and try to move up the ladder in, uh, in terms of the pro hockey ranks. So. Um, you know, I love I love that, you know, that passion and and being competitive and having a group of guys from especially hockey nowadays from all over the world. I mean, that's got to be fun and interesting to meet guys that are from completely different backgrounds than yourself. It's really really interesting. And that's one of the best parts about the job as well. Um, and and it's kind of crazy sometimes when you have a guy come over from say Finland or Sweden and. You know, you've been on the ice with them for three seconds, and you got this chemistry. Or, you know, you, <laughs> right? You kind of, you can tell that you see the game the same way. It's, it's pretty, uh, you know, remarkable actually. Talking to Tyler Secura from the Rockford Ice Hogs. What are your plans for the holidays? I see you guys got a couple of days off. Got a couple of days off. I'm gonna be able to go home and see my family and my girlfriend and um, my sister just had uh, a little baby, actually, a little girl. So I'm an uncle now. Nice. And, uh, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to go go meet her. Pretty excited. Is everybody going to get Ice Hogs gear for Christmas then? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, they don't get the, you know, the, right. the station back home. They, they would spoil it. But. <laughs> oh, that's great. And I'm looking here. We have the same birthday. May 18th. Really? Yeah. See, I knew oh. there was something good about there you. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to That's celebrate. For sure. Because yeah. you guys are going to make the playoffs, you know, and you'll be around. So. Absolutely. Of course. Yeah, of we'll course. Do the birthday show. <laughs> Tyler Secura from the Rockford Ice Hogs. You guys had a lot of home games in December. Playing some like Milwaukee and Chicago and some of these teams quite a bit. Have you discovered the hatred for them, like the fans? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we we see no shortage of uh, the teams in our division. I think we're in a stretch right now where we play, you know, thirty nine or forty games in a row against our division opponents. So, um, you know, when you play somebody and you compete against some some team that many times, there's going to be some some bad blood that ends <laughs> up coming up. But uh, you know, you try to channel that and um, you know use that as motivation to, to win. Have a great holiday. Thank you so much for coming in today. I know you got to get down to the rink for practice. Coach has got you getting up early and going down there and practicing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> head on down there from here. <laughs> it's Tyler Secura from the Rockford Ice Sox.